Hi everyone, my name is Miss Lisa and we're here at the Fayette County Public Library. You have tuned in to Fun Foods. Today we are going to be making a dessert that you might want to make over the July 4th holiday. This is the All-American Trifle. So in order to have this, you're going to need a cool bowl like this or some clear deep dish container. You are also going to have to do some prep ahead of time because you do need to have um, jello squares. So you're going to need to have some yellow. I'm sorry, my goodness. This is blue and red jello, and I've already cut them into little squares. You are also going to need some pound cake cut up into little squares and some Cool Whip. So this is a layered dessert, and so we're going to try to make it look like it's red, white, and blue, or blue, white, and red, whichever direction you want to go. So we're going to start with the blue, and I'm going to take my little squares that I've already cut up, and we're going to make a layer of little blue squares all across the bottom of this pan, this nice cake dish. Oh, and I'm dropping them everywhere. They don't want to stay on my little spatula. So there's always some disaster that happens to me, I think, when I go cooking. All right, so we're going to put our little layer of jello across the bottom. I think I need another square or two on this corner. I keep dropping them. Slippery little things. All right, so we have a layer of our blue. Then I'm going to take my Cool Whip and just lay a small layer of that on top of the Jello. Now you don't want it real thick. You just need enough to have that white layer in there. Okay, then as soon as we get that layer of Cool Whip, we're going to put our pound cake. So we're going to take some of these. I guess I'll use my spoon here. Just make sure you have your hands nice and clean before you start putting this dessert together. So there's our pound cake layer. And get a little bit more in there. Okay, and then you also do more Cool Whip. So your Cool Whip is sort of the glue that holds your little layers together. Probably best not to smear it all over the side of the jar because it's going to look pretty if you do it right. Okay, so let me get some more Cool Whip over here on this side. Now I've seen some people who add blueberries and strawberries in here and we're not going to do that today. I'm going to show you a different idea to finish this off. Okay, now we're going to do our red layer of jello. So let's see if I'm any better at getting these little pieces up in here. And now what I had done to make this jello was a one large box of the jello of the red flavor and this happens to be cherry and we had the blue raspberry for the blue so do you need one whole box of jello you can make your jello squares thicker if you had a smaller pan but i think this has been working out pretty well today still need to cover up that cool up here in a few other spaces would have been better if I had a larger spatula, it looks like. Okay, so we're about got that layer done. And you guys, can you guess what comes next? If you said Cool Whip, you would be right. So we're going to add a little bit of Cool Whip on here. Spread that around. Okay, and so I've finished up one whole tub. So I'm going to go start into my second. Oh. Just want to make sure you have plenty so that it makes those wonderful yummy layers. Okay. Now we're going to add some more pound cake and then we're going to top it off. You could always add fruit in here if you wouldn't want to. So I'm taking my little pound cake bites, laying them in here. And it looks like I actually had bought a second pound cake because sometimes it, you need both. So I'm going to reach over here and grab a few more little bites of pound cake. 
All right, so we're almost near the top of our dish. But we need a little bit more of our Cool Whip. And then we're gonna top this off with little Jello stars. I have a very small little Jello, I'm sorry, um, a little cookie cutter that is a star. And I went ahead and pre-cut some little stars with my little cookie cutter. Okay, I just simply went to the Jello and made a star. So I have my stars right here. And we're gonna attempt here to very carefully <laughs> lay these stars on the top. Okay, and I actually have plenty of blue but I could make a few little blue stars to put in the center here. That one's sort of stuck already. I don't think I want to move him. Okay, but let's see where'd I put it. If I can't make just a few little stars to put up in here. Oh, they're not coming out perfect because I'd already cut it into squares. So you're going to definitely want to make your squares or make your stars before you cut your jello. Yeah, that's not going to work. All right, I'm not sure here, guys. Just giving you a little decorating tip. But look how pretty that blue jello and that red jello against the white Cool Whip looks wonderful and it's going to taste even better. Okay, now I think you probably would best to put this in the refrigerator for a little bit before you serve it. Sorry, it looks a little messy there. But let's see if we see a pretty side here. But you got that red, white, and blue in there. This is called your All-American Trifle. So this has been Fun Foods. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Come back and see me again in two weeks for another recipe from Miss Lisa here at the Fayette County Public Library. Bye now.